good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back. Today I am at a very local spot to me called Brooklands. Used to be um, a pleasure park back in the day. Used to come here a lot in the 70s and 80s when I was a child. Um, used to play like a mini golf pitch and putt, which is no longer here. And it used to be a bit of a boating lake with little kind of chug chug boats and um, sit on kayaks and I think they had some sailing boats as well but now it's had a scheme uh, put into place to try and kind of rewild it and the first section they did which was kind of just before the Covid um, was to redo the pond the lake, which is um, why I'm here at five past six in the morning so let's go and see what wildlife we can find. Can't believe how quickly it gets this light when it's sunrise o'clock. I mean, I pulled up in the dark. Fifteen minutes ago, I mean it wasn't dark, it certainly wasn't light, still needed my headlights on, and uh, and now, even with the, the bad low light capabilities of the GoPro, it's, it's already quite bright. Okay, well we're nearly there. Funny, as soon as I settled down on this boardwalk, that all the swans and their babies came straight over. It's a bit too me to feed them, which isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. But they are rather beautiful. In fact, on the youngsters, as you can see, when they're washing, that their under feathers are already quite white on the way to becoming adults. I've always enjoyed the coots and the moorhens. I think, I think of my childhood when I see them. When my nan was still with us, we used to go over to the, um, I think it's the WWT in Arundel. So I always find waterfowl. It's a bit of a trip down memory lane for me, really. Not quite sure what Mr. Magpie's up to. He's keen on something underneath the duck board. Interesting, I wonder what that was about. You can just see the sun coming up over the houses now and dappling itself onto the, onto the steps, which is where they used to put the boats in and out back in the day. I really can't believe how much difference the sunlight makes just with the activity of the wildlife, if nothing else. Yeah, he found it quite funny, that mallard. Where, 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 where? I'm loving the angle, I'm loving the side lighting. It's just everything that's happening over the far side, where the islands are. It may be that... Uh, that happens to be where the sun is at the minute. We'll see if it changes as the day goes on. And there we have the cormorants on the far side and the little island. It's 
spreading their wings out trying to catch the heat of the first of the morning rays of sunshine beautiful so I used to think the same as others that cormorants held their wings out to kind of thermoregulate but I think in more recent years they've decided that it's just purely in the fact is that they're a diving bird for cold fish and that because their wings are so big that they trap a lot of water underneath them so it's literally to dry them out and I'm not quite sure where I stand on that theory because surely where you've got other seabirds that dive for their food do you think that they would do they would sit and do the same so I don't know I don't know if anybody actually knows a solid factual reason then stick it in the comments below I'd love to know right well it's it's nine on eight o'clock and uh, I'm getting really hungry and we've had the best of the early morning light and now we're getting quite busy with people and dog walkers and I'm not the best in front of the camera in front of people so if you've liked this week's video then please give it a thumbs up that really helps the channel grow and if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to that really would be great and if you want to know when my next video is out then click on the notifications tab and that'll let you know so that's me wrapped I think time to go home until next time thanks for watching bye for now